my aliens at, yo? This would be way cooler if there were actually some aliens to mix it up with. Come to think of it, why aren't there any aliens? Space is like ridiculously huge. We've gotta be out there somewhere, right? So far, nothing. This is actually a very real scientific conundrum that some of the greatest human minds that have ever existed have tackled for a super long time now. It's known as the Fermi Paradox. And in this episode of Nickipedia, we're gonna dive right on in and try to figure out why no aliens are texting us back. Today, we're gonna focus on the basics of this subject, but before we can ask why no alien love, we need a little background. According to the Drake equation, there should be plenty of planets like ours. Wrong Drake. Dr. Frank Drake is a radio astronomer renowned for his work at SETI, also known as the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Unlike classic astronomy, which relies on observations made in the visible spectrum of light, radio astronomy deals with the radio emissions found in our universe. And once we started looking for natural radio sources, we kind of got bored and started looking for unnatural ones as well. The theory being that civilizations at least as technologically savvy as ours would also be able to construct radio dishes and radio transmitters. But in the 70 years or so that we've been snooping, we haven't heard anything. So in 1961, Frank Drake started to wonder about the mathematical probability of finding other civilizations like ours. Even with the most conservative figures, the result is close to 40 billion Earth-like planets orbiting habitable zones of other stars. Meaning the galaxy is just bursting with Earth-like planets that are in the so-called Goldilocks zone of their local star systems. This is the heart of the Fermi paradox named after the famous physicist Enrico Fermi, who put it like this. Where are my aliens at, yo? Eh, you didn't quite say it just like that. So what's the deal? Do we smell bad? Are we just not cool enough for alien G-chats? Scientists have suggested a variety of theories, so we're gonna crank through it just like one of my favorite YouTubers, Matthew Santoro. Eh? It's like the American version of a Canadian. <laughs> extraterrestrial life is incredibly rare or does not exist, plain and simple. And you thought you were part of the special trophy generation before. Maybe there are aliens and they're not intelligent. Think animal planet, but for realsies. No people, no phones, resulting in no phone home. Maybe they exist and they're intelligent, but they're too primitive to use radio, so they're not making any noise like let's say humanity up until the last hundred years or so. It is in the nature of intelligent life to destroy itself, whether it's terminators, matrix machines, climate change, or genetically engineered flying shark NATOs, humanity better get it together or it's game over. Super buzz killy. It is in the nature of intelligent life to destroy others, even more buzz killy. That means as other more advanced civilizations explore space, the act of exploring itself destroys other potential intelligent species. Like if we landed on an alien planet and stepped on the one plant that ever existed. Alien intelligence exists, but it goes extinct before it can call us. Maybe. They're just too far away from one another for any meaningful communication to occur. Travel and communication is too expensive. Interstellar space rates are outrageous. Eh? <laughs> that is horrendous. We haven't been listening long enough to know. We aren't listening properly. So like, they're on Instagram and we're stuck on MySpace. The window between when they can send radio transmissions and when they can either go extinct or destroy themselves or just lose interest is very brief. It only took us about 50 years to go from using radio to using nuclear bombs. What could go wrong? Like your friend who spends every waking hour playing video games, they lock themselves away and have no interest in contacting anyone. They're just too alien, like beyond anything we can imagine and therefore beyond anything we can communicate with, like trying to Skype with a jellyfish. That's definitely a no-go. They exist and they're listening, but no one is transmitting. This is an interesting one. We've only sent a few messages and even those are pretty controversial. Bottom line, it may be existentially dangerous to send messages to smarter, more advanced space-faring civilizations. Think Independence Day. They're not talking to us on purpose. Maybe they don't like us. Maybe we're just not that interesting. Maybe they just swipe left. We are isolated for a reason. 
Maybe we're in an intergalactic zoo. I just hope we're like the coolest, best exhibit so they keep us around for a while. They're here, but they're hiding. Maybe I'm an alien. They're here, but we just can't or don't see them. Maybe we're not looking in the right place, like they're too small or they're too big, or maybe they occupy a dimension that we don't have access to, like we just don't know the passcode, or they're made of black matter and we absolutely can't see them or communicate with them and they're here and they're just like, there's aliens all over the place and I just, I, I don't know they're there. Pretty gnarly stuff, right? So what do you guys think? Are aliens already among us? I mean, why aren't they hitting us up for a weekend softball? Have aliens already been here on Earth and we just don't know? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys love really cool lists, videos, make sure to check out Matthew Santoro's channel. I really like his work. I think he's really cool. And don't forget to subscribe. We have new videos every week.